Excuse me? Hello? You looking for the Verizon response team? I was told to look in the Verizon barnyard. Could you cluck once for yes or twice for no? As we enter peak hurricane and wildfire season, our thoughts turn to our Verizon response team, or VRT. Now they are the brave men and women that run to a crisis, helping to maintain and restore connectivity to our customers and to first responders. Now, why am I standing in a barnyard? Well, the equipment that the VRT uses is referred to as the barnyard sometimes because of the names they use. For example, we have cows, which stand for cell on wheels, colts, short for cell on light trucks, and goats, which is a generator on a trailer. And all the while, the team continues to innovate. Now this summer, they're introducing a mobile 4G, 5G, and 5G Edge ready platform. It's called Thor. Check it out. I'm Carlo Thompson. I'm a principal member of the technical staff with Verizon, and I work on cool projects like this one. This is Thor, our mobile living lab. Thor allows us to respond in a highly mobile fashion to any type of disaster. THOR stands for Tactical Humanitarian Operations Response Platform. What we have on board is a lot of technology that we've been working on over the years, 5G, MEC, and our new radio technologies, including ultra-wideband. This will allow us to go into mostly any environment and stand up a network when there is none. We could bring this asset in, and as long as we can see the southern sky, we can actually communicate with the satellite. We could have a high throughput geostationary signal come through. So I could pull up to a disaster area, and in 20 minutes, I could be up on the air. The main components that make up the vehicle is our six-person cab, which our crew will sit in and interface with the network while they're driving down the road, and then our operation center that allows you to interface with the equipment and be able to launch and deploy masks and do all of those cool things. On this taller mask, we have our millimeter wave and we have our sub-six frequencies. On the shorter mask, we have a microwave point-to-point, -point, so now we could connect this vehicle to another vehicle downrange now we could stand up a wider area network. There's also a mech server on here, so you might have an application like at a large wildfire where like you have a lot of people that are coming in, investigators and whatnot, they all need the same data. So rather than them using the satellite backhaul or trying to use a terrestrial network, you could actually put that application on the mech server and it could be transmitted via the private 5G. It can work with a minimal crew. The mass, the auto-deploy satellite, the digitally steerable microwave deploys all from a tablet. Thor has two generators on it. It only requires one, one as a backup, or if you have an extra heavy load, you can actually fire up both generators. So the next step is being able to respond to disasters. This vehicle can't respond to a crisis. I don't know what vehicle can. Just another example of how we're always trying to be better tomorrow than we were today. Built right, ready for any condition. Okay, let's try this together. Until next time, you're on for speed. <laughs>